Back to back nuclear talks. A chief nuclear envoy of South Korea and China met for talks in Beijing today on the heels of yesterday's U.S. China meeting on North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Arirang's foreign affairs correspondent Kwon Soa reports with North Korea hiking up its bellicose rhetoric, anticipation is building up for a three way talks on the matter. South Korea's top nuclear chief Kim Ong-yun and his Chinese counterpart Wu Dawei met for talks on North Korea in Beijing Friday, with a big focus on the implementation of sanctions on the regime. Kim was said to have stressed the importance of close communication with Beijing at this time, amid North Korea's violation of UN Security Council resolutions, citing its attempted test firing of a mid-range ballistic missile last week. The meeting comes just a day after Wu's one-on-one -on -one with Washington's representative to the six-party talk, Song Kim, in which they expressed strong opposition to Pyongyang's irresponsible acts and concern regarding a possible fifth nuclear test. Unfortunately, North Korea has shown no interest in working with us towards some credible and meaningful effort towards denuclearization. Seoul's foreign ministry sees significance in the back-to-back -back bilateral talks, hoping that they pave the way for a three-way meeting soon, which, according to an official, China is said to be open to. But some experts doubt talks would bear much fruit. I do believe three-way talks are needed, but there are differences between South Korea and the U.S. on how to respond to Pyongyang, as well as China's perspective. While Seoul remains focused on changing North Korea through sanctions, China wants North Korea included in six-party talks. Given the severity of the North Korean situation, Seoul's Foreign Minister Yun byung se is expected to address the issue at the Conference on Interaction and Confidence-Building Measures in Asia next week in Beijing. It's the first time Seoul sends its top diplomat to the forum, which promotes peace, security and stability in Asia. There, Yoon is likely to hold bilateral talks with his Chinese and Russian counterparts Wang Yi and Sergei Lavrov. Kwon Arirang News.